Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up? I'm Ray. And I'm Shamika. And it's Tea Talk Tuesday, which That's means right. that we are talk we're talking about your favorite TV you know, moments show, this week. Of the week. Yes, sir. And we have a very good show today and a very special guest. I know uh -huh. you're all waiting for it. So <laughs> on today's show, today's Sheree show. Whitfield spills the tea on her new book. Hold on, let me grab it. Hold it, grab Get it, the visuals. Grab it. Get the visuals it. on it. her new book, Why Fiance the Side Chick of Hot Lana, the exclusive RHOA reunion, and more. Let's welcome on Sheree! We're so excited. Hey. What you gonna do? No, this is the <laughs> you up would you like some Bel Air? oh why not oh yes some champagne y'all a little champagne never hurt anybody it sure that's has. right i'm gonna take a sip of that because this is tea talk and we have a little special tea today this is <laughs> special tea ah, yummy that was good that was that special was tea that was how i'm I picking it up right what you put down that's how i, I do that right there uh but this season of rhoa has come to an end the final episode was on sunday mm -hmm. explosive season finale Really good stuff. But before we get into that, we are going to talk. The book. Let's talk about this book. Let's talk about the book. Yes. So uh, first things first, what made you venture into author territory? Mm -hmm. You know what, for so long, I, I, I originally started writing maybe, mm, maybe eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of doing a memoir. Uh, and I was like, well, you know what, I still got so much life to live. Right. It's, it's too early for that. Yeah. So I've had so many great experiences and crazy experiences in my life. No. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I decided to, you know, kind of pin reality TV on paper. That is lovely. And with books like this, you've mentioned a good word, memoir. Do fans often confuse memoir with like fictional? Like right. how much of this is real? How right. much is not? I would think a memoir, which is supposed to be about your life, is supposed to be yeah. real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is technically. This is a novel. So it's. Yeah. Yes. Some, you know, it's a little embellished. Uh, you know, some, some of it, everything is not so. Precise and accurate. I get it. Now, is this preparation for the biography that's to come? Mm. Well, that's right, Ray. You pulled that out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just that me. Just it out there. <laughs> um, you know what? I, after this, you know, I've been getting so much uh, great feedback. Mm -hmm. There will be uh, a follow-up novel. Ah, we love yeah, that. Okay. Look at you, yeah, best-selling yeah. author about to be at the yeah, resume. That's the title. That's the title. That's the title. Throw the titles on. Uh, All right, <laughs> kid, you're not the only one with titles. Woo! <laughs> so. <laughs> um, well, uh, you got into what inspired you and what is real life versus fiction. So can we talk a little bit about our HOA? Yes, of That's course. That's why you are here. Of course, of course, of course. So first things first, there was a lot this season. So well, much. Takes, takes a sip. I think so we all need to take a sip on this. Listen. Toast to... Mm -hmm. The reunion is about to come on. We saw some explosive clips from that, but I want to get into the season a little bit because there were some storylines. There was, you want a bone collector. Let's just the put that out right collector. here. The bone collector. That, <laughs> that is you, and you hold that proudly. Mm -hmm. I do. You know what? I can't stand all the fakeness. So you're not going to do that around me. Mm -hmm. So if you can say it behind their back, then right. I think you should be able to say it in front of them. I mean, if, honestly, you, you've you already said it in front of millions of people. Yes, this, this is true. So why wait for them to see it on TV, Right. discuss it right here. That's why we're here. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And Agreed. one of those moments we saw, Ray can talk about that, with the Porsche candy debacle, the season's messiest storyline. See, the thing about it that was so confusing was the lies that were just attached to it. Now, here's the thing. For you to actually live that, how did you feel about Phaedra not stepping up and letting people know that she was the one who said it originally? You know what? Some of the some of the things have been have been said. Mm -hmm. I don't mind taking that bone back. Yeah. But that was a deep bone right there. When you're oh, saying, yeah. well, you dug that bone up. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I'm not about to deliver that bone. No, right. You know, I felt like she should have stepped up. Right. That's why I never. That's one of the mm -hmm. reasons why I never said anything. Right. Another reason is when we were actually sitting at that table, and all that came up. Mm -hmm. We did not know we were still being taped. So oh, this was what so we heard that around that storyline. Yeah. That, that was the confusion. It kind of looked yeah. like it too. You can kind of see the sound. You can tell because Phaedra's voice went all the way down, and it was one of those. Oh, God. Yeah, it was, was just one of those. ah, okay, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah, so that is the one question, one of the questions that I get so much. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you throw? I mean, you know, just tell on Candy. I yeah, mean, right. not Candy. Why didn't you air out Phaedra? Yeah. Yeah. You know, let them know that she's the one who started the rumor. Right. Well, I, first of all, I didn't want to. Carry that bone. Mm -hmm. Right. I thought right. that she should be, you the know, woman to enough say to say yeah. something. That wasn't yeah. my bone to carry. And then I didn't know we were being taped. So this is the mm. thing. I've had personal conversations with a lot of these girls off camera. Right. Mm. Private right. conversations. Right. 
And those are not the things that I would take back. No, I get it. So since we didn't know we were being taped, I didn't, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm going to keep this bone. Yeah. I ain't thinking about this because yeah. she don't know, right. you know what I'm saying. So right. that's why I didn't mention it. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely right. in the confessional when you said that. You was like, well, I'm going to just let Phaedra do what Phaedra going to do. But why yeah. do you think Portia held it down? So, I mean, obviously friends and loyalty. Yeah, loyalty. But why do you yeah. think she held it down so hard, though? I think she really went hard for... Uh, for Phaedra, you know, I think uh, she you know, really she's did. been on a show for a while, and I she think has. she really kind of connected with anyone on the show, like she felt like she did with Phaedra. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's why she okay. you know, that was makes so loyal sense. to her. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah, and that was one of the storylines. And you know, it's also interesting to see Candy pull out when she pulled out her those receipts. Messages. Her receipts. Her receipts. She, she <laughs> those wrinkled receipts. <laughs> those wrinkled receipts. Oh. Oh. Those receipts were what four years old, and so they've been in her pocket for four years. She, look at she that. kept that she's screenshot. Pulling it out. The night she went home, she was like, "Oh, you think you're gonna play with me?" <laughs> right? It. Screenshot look, that. Get my typewriter. And she kept it for all of that time. What did you think of those little receipts? Were those valid receipts? I don't know if they were valid receipts. It was just a conversation saying that mm -hmm. you know what happens. You know. Pretty much what happened, what happens in Vegas stays yeah. in Vegas. Right, it really right. didn't say a lot. Right, exactly. right. Yeah. I, uh -huh. agree. I agree. I yes. agree. Yes. So fast forwarding a little bit, we finally got to see the unveiling of Chateau Charest. Chateau Charest. I think you Five have to say years it. in the making, right? Like that every time. L listen, we will be the first to tell you that that is one beautiful yes. situation of a house that uh -huh. you have there. I Thank mean, you, it was just <laughs> brilliant. It is like, a beautiful And house. we always argue about which houses that we like the best. Yeah. But listen, you did that. That's you have a cool. castle. You did that. You, did that. that <laughs> you, are, you are out here with a castle. <laughs> right, um, for real. And I was just saying that, I like Kenya's house because that was always the rivalry that you had. And I just mm -hmm. think it's modern, it's cute. Mm -hmm. But then Ray always points out, he's just like, it's, it's in a ditch. It's in a ditch, it's and in I'm the valley. Like, and when you're walking down, you know how you walk down, you start running? Or like when you with your girls and you got the shoes on, and you're like, you would fall. <laughs> and get out the gravel. <laughs> right. Especially right. if you drunk. Lord, oh, oh God, a drunk you night. Be drunk. You can be sober. You can't get down on here. <laughs> You've actually walked down this hill. No, I walked down her neighbor's hill, honey. Right. Ooh, you, you, the, the driveway go was the driveway, driveway the day before we right. got there, so uh, it wasn't. No, I guys, it. we are reading your questions and comments. Uh, I'm seeing already, Joy Minnie says, hey, Kenya was doing you wrong. She was so annoying. I'm glad you brought that out. So annoying. I have not been that annoyed. Probably about an hour long. before when I was watching Love and Hip Hop because yeah. that got me annoyed this week too. Hold but no, speech. this got me so annoyed. Instead yeah. of it being about empowering women and uplifting women and the fact that it took you five years to yeah. get this house, right. and that's a feat in its own, right. after some people would have given up, some people would right. have sold Absolutely. it. Um, you finally did it and it looks amazing. It's a yeah. castle, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, and then for them to go try to find that one place that, that wasn't done, she was looking. Yeah. She, she was looking for a nowhere on the main Digging. level. On the main on level. Or why were you in the basement? I think she was trying to look for a place to. Put her house to store her house. <laughs> when, the storm, when the storm comes. <laughs> when the storm, when the storm comes. Yes, I'm so And into this it. is why this is Tea Talk. <laughs> right. Every week, make sure you're tuning right. in because it's right. always great. We're going to keep reading some comments. Amy says, Kenya is clearly jealous. Your house is gorgeous. Yeah. I absolutely love it. That is Linky. We love the house. Um, and I, I love the part. This is how you know you got real friends around you, though. Because once oh, Kenya, yes. Kenya oh, yeah. and Candy were down in the basement, your friend rolled up on them and was like, What y'all doing? What y'all doing in here? What y'all doing in the basement? What's going on? Yes. Went upstairs and then let them go because they thought they was off the hook. Right. And then right. she turned and she said, Y'all bitches in your basement. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> and Sheree was like, who in my basement? I'm like, what bitches in my basement? Right, right. It, <laughs> it was, was so good. Yeah. Um, so and much. then at that moment, we saw Kim Zolciak boss up. Oh, yeah. Boss and all the, the way up. The OG, triple OG. Kim ain't boss up like that since season two. Yes. Um, but <laughs> I, I want to get into that moment. But before we get there, you guys didn't always have such a good friendship. Kim and I? Yeah. Well, we, we had our moments. Mm -hmm. We did our, have our moments. But we had a really, uh, we had good moments as well. Mm -hmm. But if you remember, everybody want to bring up the wig, wig you know, the, the wig, wig shift. Mm -hmm. The wig mm -hmm. shift. The slight, shift. slight shifting. Just a, a slight shifting. check in. But you got to remember, I mean, we've made up way a long time ago. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I was in her wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Also want to congratulate you just for being the bigger person when it comes to all of them. Because at some point there was some friction, but when you came back last season, it was amazing. You were great with Marlo, yeah. you were great with Nene. So we just want to say kudos for you being the big one to be like, listen, the past yeah. is the past. We out here. Let's yeah. let's let's get along. The so past is really the past, right. but the shade is always on point. Because Sheree got some point. shade. Can we do our favorite moment? We got to run three. One, two, three. What you gonna do? do? That is one of the greatest lines. 
in reality TV history. Love is The shade damn. is so good. Um, so but good. So talking about Kim Zolciak, why was Kim Zolciak so ready to pop off like on she Kenya? She was ready. She was ready she to go. She came in ready. Because she knew that she was being shady. She knew, uh, obviously Kenya knew she was going uh, in places where she shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. right. And she was just trying to be messy. Right. Mm -hmm. So Kim right. being, you know, being a good girlfriend, she's like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you know, yeah. this ain't right. You're right. not supposed yeah. to be doing this. You right. know what I'm saying? So, and she's a grown ass woman. She's, she knows better. Yes. Mm -hmm. She doesn't so, know better. Meaning Kenya. Right. Yes. So she was right. just being messy and Kim wasn't having it and I liked it. I, you yeah. love every that moment. You look like you like it. I was here for it. Like, this yes. is Chateau Charest. Like, get her girl. Get yeah. her girl. <laughs> uh, but that also coming back, Nene's supposed to be coming back. So is Kim making a full <coughs> comeback? This is all happening next season. We didn't even get through this season and we're so excited. Right. Like, yeah. Right. Right. I don't know. I have heard the rumors, just like you guys mm -hmm. have heard the rumors, that Kim and uh, Nene will be back next season. Okay. And I think it would be great. I it so. is, mm -hmm. uh, it's a milestone. Mm -hmm. Ten yeah. seasons. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, of course, yeah. we are the OGs. Yes. So right. I think it would be, think it'll be right. great. And I was happy to see Lisa at the Yes, oh, yes Lisa. Yes. Lisa looked good, y'all. She, yes. she always looks good. Absolutely. Shout out to Lisa Boo. She drew Lisa. a friend of ours over she here at TV1. TV one. One friend. So. Sheree said, Sh Sheree Wilson says, Sheree, I think Phaedra is going after Candy due to the calling her about lies, about why didn't she divorce Apollo earlier and the relationship with Apollo. Okay, I'm going to decipher this a little bit because there was a scene at the unveiling of the new home mm -hmm. where Candy, uh, there's so many of them, Candy sat down with Phaedra. Right. Yes, and Candy apologized to Phaedra saying, you know, I didn't know that Apollo's right. girlfriend was going to be there. Right. I apologize, et cetera. And, and Ray, like, can you do the Phaedra? Hmm. All right. <laughs> That was the Phaedra, <laughs> because I feel like Phaedra, who was your top shady ROHA person? R -H -A uh, probably shady. Probably, probably Phaedra. Mm -hmm. Phaedra's so good. Yeah. She must so be good. scrounging yeah. around the couch for loose change. Scrounging around the change. That is one Little of my favorite. Little Todd. Todd's allowance. <laughs> it must be hard when Candy don't have it his allowance. <laughs> okay, uh, so that, that is Phaedra. That is so not shady. me. For that real. is Phaedra. Right. Uh, but to talk about this, what did you think about this part right there? Because Phaedra gave nothing. Phaedra was like, well, that's what Phaedra does. She's not going to give you anything, yeah. especially on camera. But, you know, that's yeah. that's one of the reasons why, another reason why I wanted these girls to have these conversations on camera because Agreed. they'll have a cam I mean, a, a moment on camera. Yes. And it's like, oh, girl, no, we're good, we're good, yeah. okay. And then as soon as they walk away, I don't fuck with that bitch. Right. Mm. I can't right. stand that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Be why. real. Be who you are. If you don't yeah. really mess with her, let her know. Right. And have these conversations together. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me because I'm right. going to go back and tell them, girl. Because she is the bone collector and distributor. <laughs> right. uh, Sher Sherry, I can't see that. Sherry Sheree says, update on Bob. So before we get into that, we saw a really emotional scene mm -hmm. with you and Bob. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind at that moment? Because it felt like one of those moments that it was just too real for reality TV. Yeah. It was. I was not expecting that. Mm. Like I've kind of masked those feelings and you know those mm -hmm. kind of conversations mm -hmm. for a decade, mm -hmm. and I never would have had a, those that conversation right. on TV mm -hmm. had he not, you know, brought it up. I was about to say, what yeah. made you divulge that information? Was uh -huh. it him denying it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have not talked about it, mm -hmm. right. but when it does come up, mm -hmm. you're not going to play it, you know, like mm -hmm. it, you know, like it didn't right. happen, or try to deny it. We're right. not going to do that. Right. I'm not going to bring it up, but if you bring it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. A panda says, yes, Sheree. I had to read all of those, yes. And in that moment, though, we did see Kenya kind of, you know, have that sisterhood moment. Mm -hmm. Ray's face. That uh, that, I mean, I kind of felt like Kenya just missed for a moment. What did you say, Ray? She had that fake sisterhood mm -hmm. moment. She just she did. Like, throw a change a out there, and then she want to be hugging you from the back, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's no, she, all right. Kenya you looked you for a moment to be exactly. like, sisterhood is sisterhood. And just go in for the hug. It's like, okay, Kenya. No, thank you, Kenya. And uh, But what did you, you did you think it was? <laughs> Friend request and not. We really watch these shows, yes. and this is how we feel. I just felt like it was a very important moment, so I do understand like the sisterhood, but I just thought it's from Kenya. I'm just like, is it real? Listen, mm. when Kenya came here, she was sitting in that lobby for about an hour. Because I don't know who told her to come here, but she was just sitting there. We just kept walking back. They was like, Kenya Moore's in the lobby. We was like, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't even remember that. <laughs> but I guess it happened. Uh, Rose says, hi, Sheree. Hi, Sheree Rose. says, how do you deal with Kenya? Uh, do you think Kenya okay. is verbally abusive? I saw a clip that, you know, you guys have been putting out from the reunion. And mm -hmm. someone is like, you're verbally abusive, Kenya. I think she throws it. But she's not able to receive it. She she can bash, 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 right. and she, she definitely hits way below the belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all but the time. But when it comes to her, her way, she's always the victim. Mm -hmm. Right. So she's always playing victim. Yeah, yeah she I'm loves to, to keep throw my those, distance from that one. Throw those stones and then hide her hands. Yeah. I know. What, what did Vivica Fox say? 
Bye, toxic bit. Toxic to bitch. Oh, gosh. Remember no, no, no. That? Toxic trick. Toxic, toxic trick. trick. That mm -hmm. was when they were on Apprentice together, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, and that went very sour. She I mean, probably didn't pay that $10,000 like she was paying Matt. Huh. Oh, so, oh, so mm, speaking of that tea, mm, 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 what have you heard about this? Is this true? Is this $10,000 for Matt true? Do he need his money? Oh, I don't know. Was she, was she supposed to pay him? So allegedly, he was supposed to get his $10,000 at the reunion. Yeah, oh. and it never really went I down. I think it was a Walters type situation where oh. she- So he went on she... social media and blasted her for it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then he blasted Todd and Peter, Peter because they were the ones that were pushing him. Like, yeah, just stick in here. You'll mm -hmm. get your 10K. Because mm -hmm. allegedly- I, I guess they're saying you you did the work. So <laughs> right. you deserve to be paid. Right, right, you deserve that to be That is the perfect segue into this whole Candy yeah. and Phaedra scenario. When Phaedra is helping, but not really helping Candy's mm. former disgruntled employee find legal counsel. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Johnny did everything. Johnny did everything. Johnny was, Let me Johnny, tell you Johnny something. Was like, Leave it I up to Johnny. This. He started Escape. He was singing in the background. <laughs> He wrote, he got the Grammy. Let me tell you, Johnny said he been there from the very beginning. From the and jump. he tired and he not gonna take it anymore. No, he Y'all better give Johnny his money. Listen, he, he want his coin, in the words of- He want of every me. coin. He want Eric coin. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that situation? Because I'm just like, so does he have a point? Or is it like, mm. Well, I wasn't in the room, so I don't mm -hmm. know if they had conversations. Cause you can be- Right. You can't work for someone and make suggestions. Right, mm -hmm. So right. I don't know very if that's true. what he's saying, that right. he did and yes. I don't know. Johnny said he a part of the old lady gang. <laughs> That better Old get that lady gang. Just he That's actually he created macaroni and cheese. You Old know? lady gang and Johnny. You <laughs> and better Johnny. stop playing. Okay. And Johnny. Uh -huh. Okay, but right. so let's get into a fun <laughs> game of roll it, roll it, roll it. Who said that? 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 that? Who said that? So we have some that? fun quotes. I'm not gonna show you my paper because right. you, you have to quotes. guess <laughs> who shady, who the shady RHOA person that said this. You want to go first? Yeah. Okay, you go. You go. Okay. First one is, mirror, mirror on the wall, I am the shadiest one of them all. Kenya. <laughs> oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. good. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. All right, well, all this dick in Atlanta, and you got to text someone else's man, girl, girl, bye. That sounds like Phaedra. No. Portia? Nene. Oh, Nene said that. Yes, mm. yes. Okay. okay. This one, see, I'm going to see, I'm going to embody the person who said it. So okay. it's going <laughs> to give my greatest impression. Okay. Child is going to definitely going to take some cocktails to get through this whole thing. That is Phaedra. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. You'll get on the second one. Think so. Oh, 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 oh. Cynthia? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her booty is more lumpy than a bad batch of gravy. <laughs> Phaedra. That's the Phaedra. You should have talked about Kenya. <laughs> she was. Oh my god, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Ah, you a slut from the 90s. Portia. That was, <laughs> you're a slut from the 90s. She was Not so the bad. 90s, in opposed yes. to the 80s. Okay, here we go, another one. You can't make a whore a housewife. Phaedra? Yes, that was my Southern Bell accent. Did you see that? And the last one. And the last one. Ooh, this one is good. Keep my family out of your unimportant, irrelevant mouth. It's a hard one. He, did. he threw a curveball on it because I didn't even know who that keep was. My, keep my family on you. I know. Phaedra? Mm -mm. Somebody who slid in and slid out. Yeah, it was kind of like we don't want you to be staying on this show. It's not mm. for you. With a family? Mm -mm. Nope, it was Ken. Kim Fields. Yes. Oh. Kim Fields. Kim Fields. Uh, and Joy Minnie says, who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I love the, I guess that's the show. People are just saying, hey, who gonna check me, boo? Kenya is a jealous heifer. Alrighty. Uh, but, so, Sheree, <laughs> in the spirit of tea talk, we have to get into one more recap of our favorite show, Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Do you watch Still in the Hip that's my guilty pleasure. Uh, but I did not see it last uh, okay. yesterday. Okay, so Sheree here. is here for the review. Yes. And it wasn't that much that happened last night because it was right. so dramatic and extra in certain parts. <sighs> was it dramatic right. and extra? Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, last time you left off, there was this whole thing with Shooter and Mo... Mo... Mariah. Mo... 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 Raya. Mo... Raya. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and there was that whole incident. Well, it got exposed. Yes. It was exposed, it did, and in such a Wait, dramatic way. Who's Shooter? Shooter is... Sierra's, Sierra's husband. husband. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, in the yes. parking lot. Yes. Yes, oh. yes, yes. So the parking okay. lot episode was last mm -hmm. night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Girl, so Mimi, lovely Mimi, my bad, y'all. Lovely Mimi found out that little tidbit from 
Moriah. Now, lovely Mimi, we are not here for you at all. <laughs> I don't know where you came from. Clearly Instagram. But she, you can't hold water. Like, I mean, as soon as she came in, she was like, hey, how you doing? Girl, Mariah's sleeping with your husband. Yeah, but you then, ain't but, even give it a minute. But then she like, tried to do it. Like, I was feeling really bad for her when I was, I was looking I was, at her. Because as a woman, you know, girl. If you, as a woman, you should have took her to the side. Right. The she camera. did it in front of other people as well. In front of everybody. Okay, so here we go. A little backstory. I was so happy to get into that because it just it just blew my mind. Blew my they mind. were at Jocelyn's video shoot for her song, Baby Daddy. And Baby Daddy. Okay, Baby sorry. Daddy. Mm -hmm. And where she reunited with Jessica Dime. Mm -hmm. Okay. They uh, rekindled their friendship. That mm -hmm. was nice. It was yeah. it was starting to be about women's empowerment mm -hmm. and getting together and women being good friends. Yeah, and, right. um, when you think women's empowerment, you think Jocelyn Hernandez. He said it, not me. Uh, <laughs> so Dime was also there and Dime reunited with Dawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, so everyone okay. kind of rekindled yeah. it was good. everything. It was a kumbaya moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, someone said, what are we sipping on? Oh, we are sipping on Bel Air. This is the Lux. They sent over the Lux because they knew Bel -Air she knew was coming. Lux. Yes, yeah, because we fancy, we fancy. Uh, so lovely Mimi is there doing nails or trying to get clientele because she was kicked out the shop mm -hmm. from Sierra. Mm -hmm. So Sierra arrives mm -hmm. and Sierra's just like, all right, whatever. I'm dripped in $15,000. $15,000. <laughs> Dollars. Dollars. <laughs> so she was dripped in all of that loveliness. And then lovely Mimi mm -hmm. was like, ah, I don't care what you're dripping. Uh, you know what? <laughs> and then it was exposed. And she was like, that's why you need to be mad because Mariah is sleeping with your husband. Oh, mm -hmm. and what did she do? She, what she going to do? So Sierra <laughs> <laughs> was like, you lying, girl. You know, so you know, you know when somebody really tell you something and you don't really want to go in, but you just be like, he ain't doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta have no. She went outside in that parking lot. She caught shooter so fast. Right. Yeah. So first of all, shooter he rolled up in like two minutes because that's just how it happens in right. the A. Is right. it really right. close to everything in the A? No. no. <laughs> so far apart. So, Mona be having them in the van outside. You had no day was in the van because mm -hmm. Mariah rolled up next and she had a blonde weave, oh, so Lord. she knew. And then she rolled up in the van, a white van mm -hmm. that uh, like a uh, um, it was a, a dollar van, <laughs> and then she the, the door slid open automatically. Yeah. And then they pushed her out. Right. And she was like, <laughs> they pushed her out. What, what happened? <laughs> what happened? No. She was like, you told? And she I, was like, I can't oh, believe Lord, that. No. She was like, well, did you tell him the real deal? He was like, I don't know you. I don't know her. Because you it, know, was a, it was a Mariah moment. All what? of them talk like it's one big confessional. And then as I came out, oh, what because is that? this is what I'm saying. I sold Shooter. Yeah. I want my thousand dollars. Yes. He told me. <laughs> No. Not doing this with you. Not yeah. doing this with you, Mom. No, you know who is so I have no idea. Everybody I don't like that coach, does though. It. Yeah, I, I think they're like, like make sure you eat it. nuts, C8. And they're yeah. like, eat nuts, C8. They're using right. their hands. Yeah, they're using their like, hands. And then you can't go to the club right. and not come by here first. Right. <laughs> like, right. First. right. I saw that. It is, that's what was happening. Right. So Sierra was just like, you slept with Shooter? Really, really? Mariah? Shooter, this what we do it? Is yeah. this what we do it? And, and she was yeah. like, Shooter was like, I don't, I don't. You gonna know let her. me explain um, myself? Yeah, he. You gonna let me explain myself? Yeah, she was like, no. She disappeared. She tried to do like this little punch that was like, <laughs> maybe I'm trying to punch you, but it maybe not. It was a not. bad punch. It was just like know. a. You know, it was in a punch. It was like. It was, I don't know. It was a punch where you want to punch somebody, but you don't want to punch them because right. you catch me don't, first. Yeah, catch don't, me first. Hit yeah. me first. Yeah. Hit me first. <laughs> Stop me before I hit you. <laughs> So, I mean, that happened. That was pretty much the highlight of my yeah. evening. Stevie J re rekindled with his, not rekindled. With his son. I mean, and we discovered that Stevie J and his son both speak Stevie J. So, they do. it's really a language. Uh, it was just like, listen, I know I wasn't there and all that. And, and all that. But what I'm you know, saying is. Stevie J and his, was, all of his sons. They all, all just sons. talk like they're that always also. trying to get you. Just in case. Right. Uh -huh. right. Just in case you're interested. Keep and just you in like, the back pocket. I'll make up with you, dad. Right. And she, oh, okay. Lord. Uh, wink, wink to the person standing over there, just in yeah. case you see me. Yeah, Dad. Are you trying to get your ass busted in pool and all that? Yeah, it is. All that. Do you yeah. want to gamble? Oh. Nah, I don't want to gamble, son. I stopped gambling. No one's watching. I mean, well, oh, the millions God. of people. They're too cool. They're too cool. They are too cool. That happened. Um, and Jocelyn Hernandez's video shoot happened, and that's where it all went down. So we've come to the end 
of this episode, guys. Right. I know it was fun. Did this you have fun? So much fun. You guys are hilarious. I'm so mad I haven't been on here before. I know. Thank you, Trevor, for making this happen. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Bel Air. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and share this. We'll be back next week. And make sure you get wives, fiancés, and side chicks of Hot Lancers. Oh, wait. Tell them I'm, I'm at 4040 tonight. Oh, yes. tonight. Cupcakes and champagne. Oh. Yep. Come through. Intimate book signing. Yep. Meet we'll be there from 7 to 10. Meet Come her. On. Yep, meet yeah, them there. Ray will be there, too. I'll be there. Yes, he will. Yeah. He will be there. Um, but and next week we have Tammy Roman an exclusive with her because Basketball uh, Wives is, is back. That? Listen, so we are rolling. We got all of the exclusives. Make sure y'all yeah. tune in next week. Yeah. That's gonna be Bye. Fun. That's gonna be a good one.